It's no surprise when she sang her son's knees. Innocence, we want someone to know. Knowing you so that you win far about Jesus. I'm holding on to nothing. Stratocaster that I decided to do <coughs> one of those typical relic jobs that you see where it's half okay, half not okay, things that you wouldn't do, things that you would like to do. I, I pretty much covered the bases on that. I switched out the uh, switched out the tuners, got those um, and I don't know the name of them exactly, but they're Clusan looking, look to be vintage, or made to look vintage. They're the ones that they're using on the uh, Squire Classic Vibe series coming out of China. Uh, what else did I do? Uh, the saddles that were on it were, were really, really bad. The chrome was just kind of bubbly and chippy, and it had some sharp spots, and I didn't really feel like fixing them, so I threw some uh, aftermarket ones on that one. They look like fenders, but they're not. Also, whatever the little uh, adjuster screws are called, uh, they're really long. They need to be cut off. So I kind of stab my hand when I'm playing. I picked up a mint green pickguard. Uh, left all the electronics stock, although I purchased a set of springs so that I could hardtail it. Everything else that I did changed the color of the neck. It was a squire, so I mean, it was it was damn near white. You know, they really didn't have any kind of like tint to it at all. Um, obviously, in sanding the neck down to change the color of it, I, I sanded off the sanded off the squire logo and got a. God, if I can remember correctly, I believe it's a '64 logo. And I made that myself. Uh, I just took uh, two pieces of scotch tape, laid them on top of each other, on top of a piece of printer paper, ran that through my printer, took the top piece of scotch tape off with the logo on it, stuck it on there. In case you're wondering how to make a really cheap one, that's how you do it. Throw the piece of paper through the printer first. Wherever that logo comes out, lay the tape over the top of that, lay the next piece of tape over the top of that because the first tape obviously is stuck to the paper the second piece of tape that'll come off and there's your freaking logo and it worked great beat the hell out of the body shredded it the body was originally black and you can actually see a little bit of the black still in the arms where I made some dents because I didn't sand in there because I didn't think I was ever going to see that little bit of black again Gave it sort of a, a faded seafoam green, and that's it. And it's been sitting forever because I didn't have any solder, and I finally have some, so. And I'll throw some pictures up also of the uh, work as I was doing it. 
funny enough, this isn't the first time I relic it either. The first relic I did on it was black, and I had, you know, scrape marks and dings and dents, and then I sanded that completely down, did this color to it, and thought I would leave it that because it looked really great on its own, but I see too many vintage guitars that I want that I'll never be able to afford. I also see it just too many people on YouTube relicking their guitars, and I, I want it too. So, you know, that this happened. See you later, guys.